What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the lab. I know it's been a minute, but I've been around the world and back just in time to share this video with y'all. Yo. Hey, what's good with you, bro? All right, welcome How you back. Been? Thank you. Right on. Appreciate you. Got a Not sure if y'all into it, but last week Apple dropped the new 14 inch and 16 inch MacBook Pros. The 16 inches are loaded with the M1 Max chips and lucky for us, we got early access to it. I've only had a couple days to play around with this laptop, but it's taking over the main desk. Throughout this video, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. I'm gonna show you guys how I initially set it up. I'm gonna run through a series of tests, specifically with Final Cut Pro, and we're gonna learn if this is the right product for you. If you don't know me by now, my name is Andy Toe. I'm from East Oakland, California. I'm a film director and a student of the game. I like to make films on my phone, but I also like to make films also on my red Komodo. It all depends on the situation. I've also been editing on Final Cut Pro 10 for the past 10 years, so you can trust me on that. At this point, I'm just doing too much. Um, it's been a minute. Let's, let's unbox this. Let's go, yeah, let's go. Once you get your hands onto your unit, I would pull up this part of the video to do a side-by-side -side setup. We got a MagSafe 3 port on the left along with two Thunderbolt 4 ports. HDMI is back as well as the SD card reader. And then we also have another Thunderbolt 4 port on the right side. Location, sure, I'm with it. Um, yeah, I guess we're doing this too. Why not? Screen time, I do like screen times. If you check on like any of your devices, screen time pretty much data analytics on like what apps you've been using the most. So if I've been on my messages on Instagram or on like Final Cut, it'll show me like on an hourly basis how much I've been using it. I think it's pretty useful, personally. Siri, of course. Let's set up Siri. All right, sure. Hey Siri. Cool. Hey Siri, send a message. All right, Siri's ready for show. Um, share audio recordings. I don't know how I feel about that one. Apple Touch ID. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Dark mode, always. Oh, it just looks so much better like on my eyes. Yeah, definitely dark mode for sure. If you're a light mode user, I definitely want you to comment down below Show yourself. Pretty excited. This is the first time I'm actually like doing this um, for a MacBook video. Just like showing you guys the initial setup. And boom, we're in. When I'm setting up, there's definitely a lot of applications that I gotta have to install. Like just gotta have on my laptop um, before I do anything. Um, you wanna be in a place where there's a Wi-Fi. I'm gonna go here in the App Store. I like to start off fresh because I just wanna show you guys. Final Cut Pro 10 is the first one. I've been using Final Cut Pro now for the past 10 years and it's a really great tool. You know, I haven't paid a cent more since the $299 initial investment. All the updates have been free. I don't know, kudos to Apple for 
I don't know, letting it be a standalone product that you haven't charged any more for, especially a piece of software that I use on a daily basis is, uh, is incredible. Another app that I want to download is Blackmagic Speed Test. This is just so that we could test out the hard drive. Let's look at the specs real quick. This has Mac OS Monterey installed on it already. It's a 16 inch with the Apple M1 Max chip. Memory 64 gigabytes. Storage is four terabytes. There we go, let's open the speed test. And then we wanna target our drive. Go here. Just hit that. And then let's go set. So, Wait, holy, yo, that is crazy. What in the world? All right, now that we got Final Cut open, I just wanted to do a little tour uh, over here. We've got the libraries on the left. In here is the events. Then we have the, pretty much like the playback, the right side is the inspector, and here's the timeline. Um, Final Cut is more for like intermediate, advanced, but even beginners, if you want to jump straight into it, I'd highly suggest you just do that. I wanted to show you guys one of my latest films, My Life Open 3, what the timeline looked like, what the project looked like. It's a 23 minute film. It was shot on both the red Komodo as well as the red Helium, and it was all shot in 6K. So what you guys are seeing is how the MacBook is going to react to 6K files and pretty much nothing's rendered out uh looks kind of crazy right now getting this project onto here there are a bunch of plugins and other things that need to re-download in order to get it to this point but i just wanted to share the experience with you guys of if it could play back you know is it choppy just what it looks and feels like Everything's playing back smoothly, as you can see. I'm gonna click into one of these clips. This one, for instance. And when you're shooting on red, you see it here, shot on 6K, you could, you could do this thing where you pretty much could change the ISO after and post. I think this would be a cool thing to demo. I mean, different profiles, as well as different LUTs. You could change the LUTs as well. And then, if I wanted to go log, see the difference that makes. I wanted to render this out just to see how long it would actually take. Mindful that this is a 23 minute film that's filmed in 6K. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a timer. Let's just see how long it takes. All right, here we go. Just finished total of, let's see, 23 minutes pretty good we're gonna run that same test on my 15 inch that's also maxed out just to see how long the render time will take but for right now we're also gonna do an export test we're gonna go ProRes at we're gonna go ProRes 422 and it should be around okay 80 gigs then we're just gonna go and save it here to the desktop this is all on one battery by the way so we're on 18 percent i honestly don't know what to think i have the charger on there now but let's just run this prores test and run this timer back all right that just finished exporting at seven minutes and 47 seconds all right just rendered out the timeline and it ended up being 45 minutes and next I'm going to run the ProRes export and let's just see how long this takes versus the newer 16 inch. All right, just got the results for the ProRes export. Ended up being 12 minutes and 16 seconds. The fans are still going off. I put a little table just to show you guys the performance differences between the two, running the exact same sequence of 
exports. I ran wild and downloaded Cinema 4D because I was hella excited that I finally had a computer that could handle it like super smoothly. All right, all right, there we go. You're... All right, well, here are my final thoughts. I still definitely need to spend a lot more time working with this machine. You know, just having a couple of days to dabble with it just wasn't enough. And you're probably wondering if this is the right product for you. Do you handle 4K files on a daily? Do you dabble with Cinema 4D? Do you work with a bunch of special effects? Are you more of like a power user? If you fit in that space, then yeah, I would say that this product is for you. For me personally, I would always opt for the most powerful machine that they got um, just to handle a bunch of work that I do on the road, especially being a laptop, I want my laptop to be as fast as possible. So I'll spec it out as much as I could. And the reason why I asked was because these are real questions that you want to ask yourself. You want to invest in the moment. If you want to do videos next year or like in the next two years, you probably want to just save your coin for when you want to get into it. But if you plan on creating videos tomorrow or like next week, or like you have a project that you just landed and you got the bag and now you want to invest it back into your production, then yeah, go for it. I would, I would highly suggest that all the time. And that pretty much wraps up everything I had to say. More testing, uh, more videos on the way. And I know it's been a minute, but I appreciate you for watching until the very end. And if you know, you know. <laughs>